the V12 engine is, without a doubt, Ferrari's crown jewel. It's been at the heart of the company's most iconic road and race cars for over seven decades, delivering a level of performance, drama and auditory bliss that lesser engines simply cannot match. But the world is changing, and even Ferrari can't ignore the fact that large displacement, naturally aspirated engines are under attack from emission regulations, efficiency mandates, and hybrid powertrains. So, what does Ferrari do? Do they cave and swap their beloved V12 for a soulless turbocharged V8? Do they ditch internal combustion altogether and go fully electric? No, of course not. Instead, they come up with something utterly mad, a V12 engine with oval-shaped pistons. Yes, Ferrari, one of the most traditional manufacturers in the world, has just thrown conventional piston design out of the window in a move that could change how we think about internal combustion engines entirely. You see, traditionally, pistons are round. That's because they sit in round cylinders, and this shape ensures uniform combustion pressure distribution, smooth piston movement, and easy manufacturing. But round pistons also take up space, particularly in long engines like a V12, where bore spacing, the distance between the center of each cylinder dictates overall engine length. Ferrari's new engine patent discovered recently this pattern details a pull-shaped piston design, a move that is as daring as it is unconventional. By reshaping the pistons, Ferrari can pack them closer together, allowing the engine to be significantly shorter than a traditional V12, while maintaining the same displacement. The result, a V12 that is more compact, more space-efficient and potentially lighter, all without losing the glorious high-revving character that defines Ferrari's most famous engines. This isn't just an academic exercise. Shorter engines mean shorter cars, which improves weight distribution, handling and packaging. If Ferrari wants to add hybrid components, such as an electric motor sandwiched between the engine and the transmission, this extra space could prove invaluable. In essence, Ferrari is redesigning the internal combustion engine to survive in a world where electrification is inevitable. But while Ferrari's take on oval pistons is new, the concept itself isn't. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Honda developed an oval piston V4 engine for its NR500 race bike, their goal to trick racing regulations. You see, with this design, Honda could use 32 valves and 8 spark plugs, essentially having a small V8, but with just 4 cylinders. Unfortunately, the design was a nightmare to manufacture, keeping an oval piston from distorting under high temperatures and extreme pressure proved nearly impossible, and the engine never really reached its full potential. Ferrari, however, isn't trying to game a racing regulation. They're genuinely trying to make the V12 more compact and efficient without sacrificing performance. That alone makes their approach far more viable than Honda's overly complex experiment. Now the radical piston design is just one piece of the puzzle. Ferrari has also completely rethought the connecting rod assembly, another key factor in engine length. In a conventional V12, each piston has its own connecting rod, and each rod is attached to a shared crankshaft journal. However, because of the way these rods are positioned, there is always a slight offset between the cylinders, increasing the engine's length. Ferrari's pattern details a completely new way of mounting the connecting rods, where the left side piston attaches to a cap of the right side connecting rod via a separate pin. This allows the overall engine to shrink in length without reducing displacement or compromising on performance. The setup doesn't just save space, it also reduces rotational mass, making the engine lighter and potentially allowing for higher revs and getting to high revs even quicker. And in a Ferrari, revs are everything. 
but Ferrari's oval piston V12 could offer some major advantages, not just in terms of size, over traditional designs. You see, one of the most exciting possibilities is that the oval shape could allow for larger intake and exhaust valves, more air in, more exhaust out, more power. This could mean that despite any downsizing in length, Ferrari's next V12 could breathe better than any before it. But Ferrari did more than just the pistons. You see, Ferrari has designed the piston skirts with cavities to reduce contact with the cylinder walls. Less contact means less friction, which means higher efficiency, critical for meeting emission regulations without strangling the engine's performance. I will say though, shorter skirts on an oval piston does make me worry. If the force on one side of the piston is too much, you're gonna sit with a catastrophic failure. But they get paid big bucks, so I'm sure they know what they are doing. But that brings me to the question, why spend all of this money to develop an entirely new engine? While well, Ferrari has already confirmed that all future models will include some form of electrification. By shrinking the V12, Ferrari could make room for an electric motor, meaning we could get both the V12 and electrification. And me personally, I don't have a problem with hybrids, as long as I can still get the sound and character of a real genuine engine. But I do still have some questions. You see, traditional round pistons are easy to make, oval pistons not so much. The asymmetrical forces acting on the piston could make wear and tear unpredictable, requiring Ferrari to use extremely advanced materials and machining techniques. And even so, I wouldn't easily trust it. Secondly, because an oval piston doesn't expand evenly like a round one, cylinder wear could become an issue. If the piston rings don't maintain a perfect seal, compression losses and oil consumptions could become major problems. And then Ferrari, which is known for its butterly smooth V12, could end up with a vibrating mace. You see, with the new connecting rod geometry and different piston movement, vibrations and balance could become a serious concern. But I do think we can expect Ferrari's engineers to spend countless hours fine-tuning the crankshaft and firing order to ensure perfect smoothness. But my biggest question is, is this just a patent Ferrari is sitting on or is it actually going into production? While there is no official confirmation, the fact that Ferrari is actively patenting this technology suggests they are at least seriously considering it. And given the regulations are tightening, hybridization is inevitable and packaging constraints are becoming more critical. A shorter, more efficient V12 makes a lot of sense. If Ferrari pulls this off, they won't just be keeping the naturally aspirated V12 alive, they'll be redefining what is possible in engine design. And if anyone can make an oval piston V12 not only work but sound and perform like a true Ferrari, it's the mad geniuses in Marinello. But what do you guys think? Has Ferrari lost the plot or is this the future of all V12 engines? Let me know down below and if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys did like this one, you'll probably enjoy most of my other videos, so just go through my channel, see that someone's like, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?